hey you guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm collaborating with superwigs.com they sent me a wig called casey it's a 22 inch 13 by 6 silky straight lace frontal wig it's 150 percent density and this little wig was so good i usually like to get curly hair and maybe straighten it out but this straight hair was so good the wig was really full and thick and and it was just a really really nice wig so anyway i'm just cutting the um i've already done the ball cap method we did not braid her hair down because we didn't have a lot of time so we did it i just laid her hair down put it in a ponytail and uh, put some got to be uh the spiking paste on her edges and a little bit of the free spray on there let her dry under the dryer for about 15 minutes and now i'm just cutting the excess cap off i applied some dark um foundation in front of the cap and also on the cap of the wig and now i'm just going in with three layers of ghost bun xl glue and i'm just gonna spread it out in thin thin layers so that it can dry as clear as possible and you just want to do it in three layers and you just apply one layer let it dry about 90 seconds and then add the second layer and then do the same thing and add the third layer i'm just using the end of an eyebrow orchard to um lay the glue down so anyway i've already uh put the adjustable straps it had combs in there also but i cut the combs out and i just um put the adjustable i just adjusted the adjustable straps and now i'm just fitting the wig on there and of course i'm taking my metal um in rat tail comb and i'm just kind of gently um pressing the lace down into the glue oh also i bleached the knots on this unit too and i plucked it as well i did not show that on camera but i do have other videos where i am um plucking it bleaching the knots and so on and so forth so yeah i'm just pressing the lace down into the glue making sure everything is in place here i'm just going to cut the the lace from over top of the ear i'm going to do that on both sides and i'm just using a metal clip to um hold the other hair in place while i cut that excess hair and lace off and then i'm just pulling her sideburn down because I'm going to use some black wrapping strips to lay the lace down to make sure that it's laid and melted into her skin. So watch me do this guys. Okay guys, so I'm just going to sew the crown of the wig down and also I sewed the back portion of the wig down along with using the adjustable bands. So I just went to the to the very first track that's inside of this wig because it's a um, frontal wig and I just sewed it down. This frontal went back so far on this wig. I mean, like you can really... I mean, it had a lot of parting space, a lot of parting space. Seemed to me it was more than six inches, but it is a 13 by six. So anyway, I just um, um, sewed the middle down and then now I'm just cutting the slits in the, um, in the lace, one in the middle and one over each eyebrow. And then I'm using a eyebrow archer to cut the lace off and um, it really gives it a flawless look. You just wanna cut it in a kind of a jagged zigzag motion so that it'll look more natural and um that looks really really good really really good so i'm just cutting the lace off on both sides and i'm just continuing to use the eyebrow archer but you don't have to use an eyebrow archer you can use scissors or just like a regular um like razor like a persona razor and then here I'm just going in and cutting out, um, I mean, <laughs> measuring out some baby hair so that I can cut it down. And that lace looks really, really good. I don't believe it was transparent lace. I don't think it is. I think it was just a regular 
lace, but it melted into her skin so well. I mean, it really, really did good. I really like this wig. So, yeah, I'm just cutting the baby hairs down because we're going to do baby hair in this video. But, as you can see, you didn't have to do any. So, I'm just using a little bit of the spiking paste from Got To Be. And I'm going to go in with some Nairobi foam setting lotion. Y'all know I'm trying to get used to this way of doing this baby hair. I'm just working on it every day. So... Yeah, I just went in with a little bit of the Nairobi and the spiking paste. It helps me keep the keep the hair and the wig laid down while you're molding the um, the baby hair because I have had so many problems with trying to put that um, foam wrap or setting lotion on those frontals and then I see it lift up so. Don't let nobody tell you that you can put that stuff on there and then it does not lift up that frontal. So anyway, I'm just trying to preserve the integrity of the frontal. Make sure that it's laying down. So I had tried this step out and that's what I'm doing. So yeah, uh, got to be spiking paste and then setting lotion tied down with a black um, styling wrap. Yes, yeah, so I just went in with a little bit of the Sebastian um, Shaper and sprayed the baby hairs down and I'm just tying it down with a black wrapping strip. So here I'm just going to part it, see where I'm going to put the part it and I'm going to go over with the tiny um, pressing comb after I get it parted out. But y'all see how far back this wig parts, it can go back it further that wasn't even the end of I just stopped the part there so yeah I'm just going in with uh, my tiny little flat iron I mean not flat iron <laughs> I'm going in with the pressing comb and I'm just gonna press out the area around the part and then I'm gonna take some tweezers and tweeze out the part really really good so that I can open it up some Okay, so I'm now going in with uh, the tweezers and I'm just kind of detailing the part, making sure that it's uh, straight and opened up some because it's, it was a lot of hair on this uh, frontal wig. So I just needed to get some of that hair out of the part, but you just want to clean it so that there's nothing in that parting in the space that you parted. So it'll look very crisp. The part will look very crisp. You guys need to invest in some really good tweezers, some that's sturdy, that doesn't bend, that will actually grip that hair and pull it out, that kind of has an angled tip, and it will help you get that hair out of that part really, really good. I don't know where those are from, but yeah, you probably just need to invest in some good tweezers in order to tweeze the front and the part. So anyway, I'm just going in with my... Uh, ion one inch curling irons and I'm just gonna go and put some big barrel curls all over
Okay, once you're done putting your final curls in, I'm just taking a little bit of the Sebastian Shaper and a tiny bit of oil sheen just to spray on that black wrapping strip so that the hair doesn't stick to it because I use the spiking paste in order to um, lay the baby hairs down. And then if you see any extra whiteness um, from glue or gel or whatever, just take some more 91% alcohol and just dab it. You can even dab on top of the lace if you see anything on top of there. And then I'm just spraying just a little bit more oil sheen, taking my shampoo comb, and I'm just gonna comb all the curls back. Yeah, just like that, I'm combing all of them back and then pushing the curls forward once I comb them all back. So I didn't cut a bang in this wig. Um, so that she'll be able to like lift it up in a ponytail in the front or something if she wanted to. So I just put some curls in there in the front and made it the illusion of a bang, I guess you can say. So anyway, this is my cousin, Lisi. I talked her into getting the wig cause she was getting something else done this day. So I talked her into getting the wig and she got it. She likes it, her husband likes it. I think it's real cute. So anyway, this is uh, the finished product. So I hope you guys liked it. If you're at this point in the video, you know what? I assume you love the video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. This video was brought to you by Super Wigs. This is the KC 22-inch um, Silky Straight Lace Frontal Wig.